In a remote town in the state of Utah, USA, lies an isolated cemetery. Despite the difficulty in reaching this place, millions of people from around the world are drawn to it. The reason? The heart-wrenching, extraordinary story behind the man who owns this grave. Who was he? Why did his life come to a tragic end at such a young age? And why is his death considered one of the most painful in history? Today, we'll uncover the chilling tale behind this grave in our video. Utah, land of canyons and caves. A place where the Earth's secrets lie hidden beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to venture into the unknown. The rugged beauty of Utah's landscape is a testament to the power of nature, sculpted over millennia by wind, water and time. The vast expanse of desert and the intricate network of canyons create a mesmerizing tapestry that beckons adventurers from all corners of the globe, hidden beneath the surface, a world of darkness and danger. These caves are not just empty voids, they are living, breathing ecosystems teeming with life and mystery. The underground labyrinths are a stark contrast to the sunlit world above, offering a unique and often perilous environment for those who dare to explore them. The allure of these subterranean realms is undeniable, drawing in explorers with the promise of discovery and the thrill of the unknown. This is where John Edward Jones, a young medical student, felt the call of adventure. Despite his demanding studies and responsibilities, John was always drawn to the thrill of exploration. His passion for caving was more than just a hobby. It was a way for him to connect with the raw, untamed beauty of the natural world. The challenges he faced in the depths of the earth mirrored the challenges he faced in his academic and personal life, pushing him to grow and evolve. He loved to explore, to push his limits. The rugged terrain and the physical demands of caving were a perfect match for his adventurous spirit. Each expedition was a test of his endurance his courage and his ability to navigate the unknown. The sense of accomplishment he felt after conquering a particularly difficult cave was unparalleled, fueling his desire to seek out even greater challenges. Caving was his passion, a test of courage and resilience. The tight, narrow passages and the pitch-black darkness were both intimidating and exhilarating. For John, each cave was a new frontier, a place where he could push his physical and mental limits. The gear he carried was not just for safety, it was a symbol of his commitment to the sport and his respect for the dangers it presented. I was always drawn to the unknown, the thrill of discovery, the challenge of the dark, the feeling of being the first to set foot in a place untouched by human hands was indescribable. It was a way to escape the mundane and connect with something primal and ancient. Each cave was a new adventure, a new story waiting to be written. The thrill of discovery, the challenge of the dark, the sense of isolation and the need to rely on one's own skills and instincts were both daunting and exhilarating. The beam of the flashlight cutting through the darkness was a lifeline, a guide through the unknown. Every step taken in the cave was a step into the past, a journey through time and space. John was a family man, a husband and father. His love for his family was evident in everything he did. He balanced his time between his studies, his family, and his passion for caving. His wife and child were his anchors, providing him with the support and motivation he needed to pursue his dreams. The joy and pride he felt in his family were matched only by the excitement he found in his adventures. But he also had a thirst for the unknown. The call of the cave was a powerful force, drawing him away from the comforts of home and into the depths of the earth. It was a delicate balance, managing his responsibilities and his desire for adventure. Yet he found a way to honor both, never losing sight of what was truly important. Nutty Putty Cave, with its labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, promised a challenge like no other. Known for its tight passages and complex network of tunnels, it was a caver's dream and a test of skill and bravery. The cave's reputation was well known in the caving community. And for John, it represented the ultimate adventure, the thought of exploring its depths filled him with a sense of anticipation and excitement. Little did he know it would be a challenge from which he would never return. The cave that had promised so much adventure and discovery would become a place of tragedy. The risks of caving are real, and despite the best preparation, sometimes the unexpected happens. John's story is a reminder of the thin line between adventure and danger, and the courage it takes to walk that line. John wasn't alone in his love for caving. His brother Josh shared his passion, 
They had explored many caves together, their bonds strengthened by the shared adrenaline and the trust forged in the darkness. We always felt invincible together, like nothing could stop us when we were in those caves. On this fateful Thanksgiving Eve, they gathered a group of friends and family. The plan was to conquer Nutty Putty, a cave known for its tight squeezes and treacherous passages. It was a Thanksgiving tradition, a test of their mettle. The group descended into the earth, their headlamps cutting through the pitch black. The cave seemed to swallow them whole, the darkness enveloping them as they ventured deeper. Each step took them further from the surface, further from the light. The air grew colder, damper. The walls of the cave were slick with moisture and the temperature dropped noticeably with each passing minute. The chill seemed to seep into their bones, making them shiver despite their warm clothing. The sound of their breath echoed off the damp rock walls. Every inhale and exhale was amplified in the confined space, creating an eerie symphony of human presence in the otherwise silent cave. The rhythmic breathing was a constant reminder of their isolation. They laughed, they joked, unaware of the darkness that lay ahead. The camaraderie among the group was palpable, their spirits high despite the foreboding environment. They shared stories and memories, their voices bouncing off the cave walls, creating a sense of full security. The birth canal, it's one of the tightest squeezes, a passage that tests even the most experienced cavers. The name itself evokes a sense of challenge and adventure, a rite of passage for those brave enough to attempt it. But I've got this. I know I can make it through. The determination in his voice was clear, a mix of confidence and excitement. He had prepared for this moment, both mentally and physically, and he was ready to face the challenge head on. John, always the adventurer, decided to explore a passage known as the Birth Canal. He'd heard stories of its difficulty, but he was undeterred. For John, the thrill of exploration outweighed the risks. It was a notoriously tight squeeze, even for experienced cavers. The passage was infamous for its narrowness, a claustrophobic nightmare, but for John it was an irresistible challenge, a test of his skills and courage. But John was confident, perhaps too confident. His smile was unwavering, his determination unshakable. He believed in his abilities, convinced that he could conquer the passage without issue. He squeezed in, determined to conquer the passage. The walls pressed in on him from all sides, the space so tight that he could barely move. But he pushed forward, driven by the desire to succeed, to prove himself. The birth canal was aptly named. It was a narrow, twisting passage that forced cavers to contort their bodies in unnatural ways. John, however, was undeterred. He had been through tight squeezes before. Just a bit further. I've done this a hundred times. I can do it. He pushed himself forward, his headlamp illuminating the slick, mud-caked walls. But then disaster struck. He had taken a wrong turn, venturing into an uncharted section of the cave. Section 5, a tight squeeze. I found myself wedged in the narrow passage, my chest constricted. I couldn't move forward or backward. Panic surged through me. I was trapped. He called out to his brother, his voice muffled by the rock. I heard my brother's cries and rushed to his aid. I found John stuck fast, his face contorted in fear. I tried to pull him back, but he was wedged in too tightly. Our worst nightmare had become a reality. Section 6, Trapped. Word spread quickly to the surface. John Jones was trapped in Nutty Putty Cave. Rescue crews rushed to the scene, their faces grim. They knew the dangers of the cave, the unforgiving nature of the mountain. Time was of the essence. John was suspended upside down, his blood rushing to his head. The pressure on his chest made it difficult to breathe. His hope began to dwindle with each passing hour. Section 7. A Glimmer of Hope for hours, rescuers worked tirelessly. They rigged ropes and pulleys desperate to free John from his rocky prison. Each tug, each attempt brought a glimmer of hope, followed by a crushing disappointment. I spoke to my wife on a radio, whispering words of love and comfort. I knew my situation was dire, but I refused to give up. John, meanwhile, fought to stay conscious, to cling to life. We could see the determination in his eyes. He was holding on, for his family, for his life. Section 8, The Body Fails. Despite their valiant efforts, the rescuers faced insurmountable obstacles. The narrow passage, the unstable rock, and John's deteriorating condition made the rescue nearly impossible. After 27 grueling hours, tragedy struck. John Edward Jones, the loving husband, father, and adventurer, succumbed to cardiac arrest. His body, exhausted and broken, could take no more. The rescuers, covered in mud and grime, had given their all, but the cave had claimed its victim. Section 9, Legacy of Nutty Putty. The news of John's death sent shockwaves through the caving community and beyond. Nutty Putty, once a place of adventure, became a symbol of tragedy. 
In the wake of the disaster, authorities made the difficult decision to permanently seal the cave. My body, forever entombed within the earth, serves as a stark reminder of the risks of venturing into the unknown. The cave, now sealed shut, stands as a testament to the dangers that lie beneath the surface. Section 10. Lessons Learned In every adventure there are risks, and with risks come invaluable lessons. The importance of safety cannot be overstated, especially in activities that push the boundaries of human endurance and exploration. Whether it's a classroom setting where safety protocols are taught, or a hands-on workshop where individuals learn through experience, the foundation of any successful endeavor is thorough preparation and respect for the environment. John Edward Jones's tragic death served as a wake-up call for cavers and rescuers alike. His story is a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of the environments we choose to explore. The incident highlighted the critical need for better safety protocols, more comprehensive training and meticulous planning. It also underscored the importance of having the right equipment and the knowledge to use it effectively. Rescuers now approach their missions with a heightened sense of caution and preparedness, understanding that every detail can make the difference between life and death. The need for better safety protocols, more thorough planning and a healthy respect for the power of nature became abundantly clear. Detailed planning sessions have become the norm where every possible scenario is considered and contingency plans are put in place. Rescue teams are now equipped with state-of-the-art safety gear and they undergo rigorous training to ensure they are prepared for any situation. Nature, with all its beauty and allure, also comes with inherent dangers. Warning signs and safety advisories are now more prominent, serving as constant reminders of the respect and caution required when venturing into the wild. Though my adventure ended in tragedy, my story continues to inspire. It serves as a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the relentless pursuit of dreams, even in the face of adversity. People from all walks of life draw strength from my journey, finding the courage to overcome their own obstacles. Whether it's a mountain climber reaching the summit after a grueling ascent, or a runner crossing the finish line after pushing their limits, my story resonates with those who strive to achieve the extraordinary. It reminds us that even in the face of insurmountable odds, the human spirit can endure. The support of a community, the comfort of loved ones, and the unity of people coming together in times of need are powerful forces. My story has brought people closer, fostering a sense of solidarity and shared purpose. It has shown that despite the challenges we face, we are never truly alone. The bonds we form and the support we offer each other can help us navigate even the darkest of times. His legacy lives on, not in the darkness of the cave, but in the lessons learned and the lives saved because of his sacrifice. Memorials and vigils serve as poignant reminders of the impact one life can have on so many others. The candlelight vigils, where people gather to remember and honor John, are a testament to the enduring power of his story. His sacrifice has led to increased awareness and improved safety measures, ensuring that future adventurers are better prepared and protected. John's story is a powerful reminder of the strength and resilience that lie within each of us. It encourages us to face our fears, to push beyond our limits, and to support one another in our journeys. The diverse group of people who have been inspired by his story, each overcoming their own challenges, is a testament to the universal appeal of his message. Whether it's hiking mountains, pursuing personal goals, or simply living life to the fullest, John's legacy continues to inspire and motivate us all.